Hello everyone. Welcome back to my class English with Aman. Today we are going to talk about very basic English grammar rules for preposition. In the English, we often mixed up with preposition. So in this video, I'm going to explain you everything. Make sure you're writing things down so that you can practice them later. So let's start with the definition of preposition. Preposition is a word used before a noun or pronoun to show its relation with the other words of the sentence. Let me take an example like the book is on the table. In this sentence, there is a two word book and the table. There is a relation between book and the table and that relation shows on. On help us to show uh, the relation between th these two words. So on is a preposition. The next word sentence is the pen is in the ink pot. In this sentence, in is a preposition. The third one is the cat is under the table. As, you, as I already told you that preposition is a word used before a noun or pronoun. So in here, table is a noun and before the noun, there is a under, the word under. So under is a preposition. The fourth one is the book is between the ink pot and the chair. So the between is the preposition. And the fifth one, the boy is behind the wall. So in this sentence, behind is a preposition. Now, let's talk about the rules of at. At is used with the name of smaller places. For example, I am at the book market. At. So in here, the book market is a smaller place. My brother lives at Jaipur. I am going to meet you at the restaurant. The next rule is at is used to indicate an activity. For example, he laughed at my action. So my act, I have some action, so that person laughed at me. So that's at is used to indicate that activity. I am good at drawing a portrait. At is used to point out the specific time also. For example, I will meet you at 12 p.m. So 12 p.m. That this time is a specific. This is a 12 p.m. is a specific time. So we will use at. The bus will stop here at 4 p.m. Now let's talk about the rules of in. In in is used with large places such as countries, continents, big cities. For example, I was born in Asia. He was born in Rome. In is uh, in used for unspecific time during a day, month, season, or year. For example, in the summer. In the summer, we have a rainy season for three weeks. In is also used for indicate a shape, color, or size. For example, this painting is mostly in blue. The students stood in a circle. I hope you understand it. If you like my video, then please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any problems or doubt, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you.